mobile game that's uh, incorporated into location based. Will I be able to port that in? I just don't know. Is, is that, oh, of is course. That, yeah? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the thing is, is that, right, um, you know, we're, we're the PC, right? The, 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 the PC is good at all of that, right? I mean, the PC is like good at everything. You know, yeah. If you have a GPS and a PC, it turns out there's like a quadrillion different ways to talk to the GPS. Who knew, right? Like you can talk to the internet like kind of any way you want, right? You don't have to go through somebody else's, you know, gatekeeping, whatever. Um, so, and you get, and, and you know, and you get to use, sort of use any tools you want, you know. Um, so uh, that's one of the huge advantages of the PC ecosystem, be it, you know, whatever flavor of operating system you write to or whatever API layer you write to. Um, there's a tremendous uh, amount of tools. If you want to do, uh, you know, a, a location-aware, you know, um, sort of uh, treasure hunt kind of game, you know, God, you know, tremendous opportunity there. But if you want to do something completely different, I, I can't imagine a richer platform that you could develop for. What if I've got uh, embedded advertising or, like, you know how a lot of mobile games, they'll, they'll have um, ad packs built in, and, and that, that's a big source of revenue for a lot of these mobile gamers. Yep. If they're porting their game into App Up, will that still be available? Oh, sure. Yeah, party on. I mean, um, you know, we, we have, um, uh, uh, we're looking at, at enabling a, a web service API um, for advertising as a value add to, to developers. But, um, you know, like, why get in the way of a perfectly good business model? Right. That, oh. I love to hear that. <laughs> yeah. I got one last question for you because I just got to know. What's going on with Moblin and Migo? Because I, I know I saw it at CES. I saw the um, the, the beta yep. well, for, for app up on, on, on Moblin. So yes. what's the story there? So the story is, um, you know, we are, uh, we are going to be releasing uh, uh, a Amigo store. Um, I'm not going to tell you when. When? when? I'm not oh. going to tell you when. Could be tomorrow. <laughs> Could be the day after tomorrow. Could be longer than that. <laughs> It's software, um, but we are going to release one, uh, you know, um, and uh, and we're very bullish, right? We're, we're bullish on Linux. Linux is clearly, clearly critically important to Intel. We think it's a great operating system. We're super bullish on Migo. Um, you know, Migo is, is uh, you know, it is mobile and be only better, right? Right? So it's really cool. Um, uh, and, you know, we actually are really psyched about sort of the introduction of, of Qt or Qt, depending on how you pronounce it, uh, as another uh, sort of uh, way to program great applications, as it turns out, you know, which will run great on netbooks. Yeah. Well, Peter, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me. It's always interesting to hear what uh, is happening under that jaunty cap. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News down here at GDC 2010. Cheers. Cheers.